developer or a business owner can be difficult with the always changing requirements. And here with us now is Chad Casey, owner of Three Alarm Electric. Chad, thank you for joining us this morning. Appreciate thank it. You. Great name you got there. So of course. there are a lot of changes in building codes over the years. Things you know you got to be in compliance. So what are we looking at now in terms of making sure that our homes are safe and up to code? The the two big things right now are arc fault protectors mm -hmm. and ground fault protectors. Any place where you have a wet area, mm -hmm. like the kitchens, the bathrooms, laundry rooms, outdoors, has to be ground fault protected. Okay. And the rest of the living areas need to be arc fault protected. Okay. Well, so what exactly is uh, an, an electrical arc? What are the, the, the fault protectors for? What do they do? An arc is where power goes from one point to another through the air. And obviously, if it's not encased in a wire, it can cause fire, mm -hmm. whether it's burning the insulation, burning uh, curtains, anything mm -hmm. like that. So an arc fault protector, like what you see up here, mm -hmm. uh, it has a little computer chip in it, and it detects if there's power that's jumping. Really? Okay. And will automatically trip the breaker, uh, not just because of an overload. Okay. Now, is, are these caused by, is it faulty wiring, just maybe something being out of date, or something maybe done that wasn't originally done up to code? Lots of times it's because of a problem within the house. Okay. Uh, the old, old uh, electrical appliances, whether it's a really old drill or some sort of motor, mm -hmm. those can generate an arc on their, their own because of how they were built. Okay. But nowadays, if you have a a fault in your vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. That'll trip an arc. Gotcha. If, okay. Uh, and with ground faults, if power's going somewhere besides back on the neutral, mm -hmm. if it's grounding through a person, it'll trip. Wow. Okay. So these are these are really important. It prevents fire, prevents electrocution, all of these things. And so obviously, Three Alarm Electric, you guys can make sure that homes are safe. They're up to code, and right. that they're they're going to prevent these disasters from happening. We actually even offer uh, what's called a rescue package, mm -hmm. residential electrical systems check for you, where we go out. It's about a $200 value. Mm -hmm. we, we analyze your home. We mm -hmm. tell you where the, the, the weaknesses in your electrical system are mm -hmm. and give you recommendations give on you how recommendations. to fix them. That's great. So you can just come out and you can do that. And what is, what is the charge to do that? It's free. It's free. I like that. That's <laughs> always great. Well, so um, just to just to find out, how much power does a home typically use here in Albuquerque? Nowadays, the the standard rate is 200 amps. 200. It used to be down as low as 70 amps, 100 amps, 150 amps. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, an average home uses at least 200 amps. 200 amps. A lot of new technology. People running computers. Those big TVs. Right. The the central air, the mm -hmm. refrigerated air right. versus a lot of people the doing that now. evaporative coolers. Right, right. Well, you know, I think this is really important information. I know it's something that's very important at our home. We've got an older home. A lot of New Mexicans have older homes. So Three Alarm Electric is a great organization to get in touch with to get that free inspection, really, and find out where we are with our electrical in our households. The, yes, uh, definitely. The the old adage, ignorance is bliss, does not, <laughs> does apply, not apply to electricity. To electricity. <laughs> right. Chad, thank you so much, sir. We are going to have links on our website, krqe.com. Just click on CASA. We will have links to these guys so they can come out and make sure that your home is safe.